In this video we will discuss the process of accommodation and accommodation reflex, how is it controlled by the brain and the difference between the pupillary light reflex and accommodation reflex in reference with the pupillary constriction. So what's accommodation? Accommodation is the process of making sharp image of the object on the retina. The object may come closer or may go far. So it's like changing a goal post. When the object comes closer, the lens focuses the object by increasing its convexity. So a clear and sharp image of the object is made on the retina. So what are the different components and structures involved in accommodation? Number one, lens become more convex. This is done by ciliary muscle contraction. Number two, pupillary constriction. This is different from pupillary light reflex constriction. Which We'll discuss it and number three medial rectus convergence what are the afferent and efferent pathways for accommodation the afferent pathway for accommodation by the optic nerve from optic tract to the lateral geniculate body optic radiation to the visual cortex from visual cortex and from association area 18 and 19 via superior longitudinal fasciculus to the frontal eye field area 8 and from frontal eye field via corticonuclear fibers shown in blue to the oculomotor nucleus and then the efferent pathway from oculomotor nucleus via oculomotor nerve to the medial rectus muscle and to the pupillary constrictor fibers and the ciliary muscles via parasympathetic nerve after relaying in the ciliary ganglion. So the afferent pathway via optic nerve to the visual cortex in area 17 and the information is processed to visual association in area 18, 19 and via superior longitudinal fasciculus to the frontal eye field area 8 and from there corticonuclear fibers to to the oculomotor nucleus and the efferent fibers via oculomotor nucleus parasympathetic fibers to the sphincter pupillae and ciliary muscle and general somatic efferent nucleus controls the medial rectus component of the accommodation reflex what are the effector organs in accommodation reflex ciliary muscles the sphincter pupillae these are the parasympathetic component and the medial rectus muscle the general somatic efferent component which muscles take part in accommodation ciliary muscle number two is sphincter pupillae both parasympathetic intraocular and controlled by general visceral efferent nucleus and supplied by the oculomotor nerve and number three medial rectus muscle how lens convexity increases for near vision oculomotor nerve supplies the ciliary muscle ciliary muscle contraction brings the ciliary body close to the lens so it decreases the tension on the zonule thus increasing the lens convexity ciliary muscle contraction relaxes suspensory ligament and increases the lens convexity when ciliary muscle is relaxed, the suspensory ligament becomes tense, so the lens becomes flat. How convergence occurs? In the convergence process, both the medial recti contract and the information comes from frontal eye field, from the frontal eye field to the medial rectus component of the oculomotor nucleus and from oculomotor nucleus simultaneously to the medial rectus muscle to contract and to cause convergence. What's the difference between the pupillary constriction of the light reflex and the accommodation reflex pupillary constriction? Pupillary constriction in accommodation reflex is not the result of light falling on the retina. It's a different reflex. It's a part of the near vision. It's controlled from the visual cortex to the superior colliculus in the midbrain and to the adinger westphal nucleus and then via ciliary ganglion to the superior constrictor fibers. Pupillary light reflex is lost in Argyle Robertson people. Why? Because if the tactum is destroyed, pupillary light reflex is lost. But accommodation reflex is present because it's a different pathway coming from the visual cortex to the superior colliculus and to the in the midbrain and to the oculomotor nucleus so when this is lost as in neurosyphilis and diabetes mellitus but this reflex persists which doesn't depend on the light reflex